in. Hi, welcome to our holiday open house. We're so happy that you could join us. It's beautiful outside and a perfect time of the year. Here. It's snowing like crazy and it just feels so good to uh, have you all in to enjoy this beautiful holiday season. Gives us a chance to try some recipes and cook, uh, spend some time with our friends, and uh, we love being in the kitchen this time of the year. So we're so excited you're here and welcome, and let's get this started. Let us get you something to warm you up. We've got the most delicious hot cocoa if you're really chilly, or would you prefer some cranberry Christmas punch? We've made a few things to nibble on too Patricia's super nachos and some nutty mixed up popcorn. Or you may even want to head straight for the Black Forest Fondue. It's so amazing. If you're in the mood for something more savory, try the sausage breakfast pie or the brown sugar glazed ham. They're both yummy. We always have fun decorating for Christmas. I even decorate my chandelier. I made these letters from some cardboard that I covered in glue, then covered with silver glitter. You can make them as big or little as you like and string them up anywhere. For us, decorating can be as simple as setting a pretty frosted cookie next to a garland, a colorful bowl of ribbon candy, or even a collection of vintage glass ornaments in a large vase. Aren't they pretty? We have been so busy getting ready for this open house. I've been making cookies with the kids this year. Me too. All different kinds, but I think we both have some favorites. What are you making this year? I'm making gingerbread stars, and you can dip them in milk chocolate or white chocolate. And what I did this year was I just went to the um, antique shop downtown and bought some bread tins that are really um, just a nice gift in for gift giving. So you're going to give them to Tuck people? them in uh, with a little tissue and a bow, and they look oh, perfect. Oh, how pretty. Nice how pretty. Yeah. I'm kind of on the fence about gingerbread cookies. I'm going to make some gingerbread men, but I can't decide whether I like them iced or not. You know, I think it's just a personal preference. Um, they look pretty, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them in a jar, a vintage jar of some sort, and put a big bow on them, and they're ready nice. to go. And place settings, even on a plate, they're very pretty, because so you could even uh, pipe a person's name on them. Oh, cool. that would be a great idea. And I think we could also try different cookies in the jar, so lots of great ideas out there. These almond butter cookies are so tender and sweet, and look so pretty frosted with sparkly sanding sugar. so warm and cozy with the fire going in the fireplace. If you look outside, you might even see some geese in the river. It's so beautiful. And with the snow and everything, it is, it's, it's so special. Um, got some, some stockings hung on the mantle, uh, candlelight, and there's some goodies out there too. Yeah, we hope you'll come out and see it. It's really, really wonderful. Peppermint bark brownies and red velvet cake. And it looks like somebody already got to it. Mm, wonder who. Wonder who. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming and joining us at the Holiday Open House. It was a great night, wasn't it? It was really fun. It was great having yummy food, getting together with friends. It was really just warm and cozy. I think the treats that we made were delicious. And everything was from Homemade Christmas, our new cookbook. Oh, that's right. And you can mm -hmm. find them on the blog if you like. And I just think it's a, a great way to kick off the season. Okay, so everybody get all bundled up now because we're going to go for a sleigh ride.